Hey, second graders. Um, this is your last week of second grade. And so we are doing things a little bit differently. And I'm going to be reading you um, one of my favorite books. And it's a book about challenges. And then after it, I'll post a little video about a challenge that I want you to try this week. So I am going to read you one of my favorites. And it's called Those Darn Squirrels. And it's by Adam Rubin. And it has really neat illustrations. And the birds are just awesome. So... On the outskirts of town, at the edge of the forest, there was a little old house. And the only thing older than that little old house was the old man who lived in it. Old Man Fookwire. Old Man Fookwire was so old that when he sneezed, dust came out. He was also a grump and he hated pie. He hated puppies. The only thing he liked was birds. And all summer long, the old man painted pictures of the birds that visited his backyard. There were whirly birds and bonga birds, baba birds and yaba birds. Even a rare flugel bird came by once or twice. Fookwire's paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. Well, when the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change color, old man Fookwire grew sad. He knew that soon the birds would fly south for the winter as they did every year and that he would be lonely. So then he had an idea. If he fed the birds, maybe they would stick around. So old man Fookwire built beautiful bird feeders and put them up all around his backyard. And he filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries. And soon birds came from all over the forest just to eat from the old man's yard. But the birds weren't the only ones who liked the bird feeders. The squirrels did too. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels are the cleverest of all woodland creatures. In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. They can make a house out of a tree, a bed out of a bunch of leaves, and a box kite out of twigs, dirt, and squirrel spit. They are also excellent at math. Now, winter was fast approaching, and the squirrels needed to gather as much food as possible. Um... So they had much as they could to get ready. So they decided to take some of the bird food. The birds were not happy and neither was old man Fookwire. And when they discovered what has happened, he shook his old man fist and yelled, those darn squirrels. He filled up the feeders again, but this time he hung them from a clothesline. He went back inside, confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to get the seeds and berries but the squirrels were determined and they devised a plan. And this time they took all the food from the bird feeders. The birds were furious. Harumph, 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 yelled a bonga bird. Those darn squirrels, yelled old man Fookwire. Yum, said the squirrels. Now it was old man Fookwire's turn to devise a plan. He went to the general store to get supplies, and he bought lasers and clamps. He bought wires and springs. He bought all sorts of tools and built a veritable fortress around his bird feeders. And then he refilled them very carefully. Na, 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 snorted the flugel bird. Well, the squirrels stayed up all night working out their strategy, and they drank cherry cola and ate salt and vinegar chips to help them stay awake. And finally, they had it the perfect plan. Well, they put on their tiny helmets and they prepared to launch themselves into the air, over the fence, between the lasers and onto the bird feeders. Now, do you think the plan is gonna work? Okay, tune in to part two of the book to find out. <laughs>